So neuropathic pain, nerve pain, what do you do to treat that? There are various types of neuropathic pain. Again, it all depends on the diagnosis. If it is diabetic neuropathy, it can cause that post-herpetic neuralgia after shingles. That is a different type of neuropathic pain. When you have stroke, you can have neuropathic pain too. Okay. But there is one specific one called uh, CRPS, complex regional pain syndrome. In the past, we used to call it reflex sympathetic dystrophy because we used to think that it was a sympathetic system reaction. And like what areas of the body are we talking about? Just the so most we... commonly it is in the hand. Hands, okay. Sometimes in the foot. It can be anywhere. So the major issue there is that you have the burning pain, which is out of proportion to the injury you receive. And where is it going? Like through the fingers, through the hand, yes, or the wrist? Yes, it can be entire hand. Okay. You can have a small damage to the median nerve or ulnar nerve, but the pain goes all over and you have swelling of the hand. You can you lose the strength, motor weakness. Okay. And as it gets uh, significantly second stage, it becomes atrophic. You lose, start losing the muscles, lost, start losing nails, oh, wow. or sometimes overgrow the is nails. Is this common, this problem? It is about 2% uh, of the population it can okay. happen. So we see them quite a bit. So what do you do side. for it? So there are various types of treatments. One of them is a sympathetic block, but we try the medications first. We can try things like gabapentin or Neurontin. Okay. And we also have Lyrica that can be used. We use antidepressant medication. We use physical therapy, exercise program, mirror therapy, where they can stand in front of the mirror and move the good hand, but in the mirror, because it looks the opposite side, so they think that it works, and the other one is working. Oh, interesting. Okay. So the, those are the, the with regards to our interventional techniques, we do what is called a sympathetic block. If it is the upper extremity pain, hand pain, we put a needle in the neck here and inject small dose of numbing medication, so that increases the vascular supply and improves that immediately. You can see that. They it feel better. Pinking up. Yeah. Oh, people, Does it hurt? This little injection near the neck? It is not really that bad at all. Okay. So, okay. And then if it is in the low back, we do, do what is called a lumbar sympathetic block in the low back itself. We block at L2 and L3 levels. We inject local anesthetic. And again, this you see the same improvement in the blood flow, immediate pain relief. So if they go into chronic phase where they do not get better at all, we have to look at various other options such as spinal cord stimulation Okay. our intrathecal infusion system. Above all, we also have recently, there is a lot of evidence coming on ketamine infusions. Ketamine is a new drug, new drug. Ketamine, ketamine? Yes. Same kind of thing, is that what yeah, we're talking about? Yeah, it is newly packaged, because I guess. Because they're starting to call us, they want to be on the show talking about this. Yeah, they so, have been, uh, we you always, I use, you know, I was uh, anesthesiologist in my former life, so. Okay. <laughs> So we used to use ketamine to do anesthesia for children, and especially I did anesthesia training in India. They didn't have many drugs, so we used to use ketamine pretty frequently. Okay. So it kind of dis went into disreputation because of the hallucinations you get, the dreams, and... Oh. So now we are using it for all these other conditions, like uh, RSD was the one of the... CRPS was one of the things, and then we started using... This is this nerve pain we're talking right. about. Right. We give high doses of... Uh, ketamine infusion, almost like toxic Infusion dose. meaning through their veins? Through the veins, about eight hours a day for five days. And how does it, and then, and then the pain goes away? In then the pain the goes away. If it comes back, then we do it again, but generally it, uh, they do pretty well. Again, it is not covered. For this by neuro, you. this nerve pain, is it something you could visually see on imaging that something's being pinched or pushed? No, not it's really. It's more complex than that to kind of identify. More That's why they call it complex regional pain. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so if you can see on the EMG nerve conduction, that means there is a different problem which can be corrected. That is so how this you... must be tough to diagnose then. Oh, it is very difficult to diagnose and some people don't believe it and because in olden days we used to believe that patients have psychological issues who have these problems so the people don't think that it was real. It's all in their head. All but in, in a way, head. it is all in their head, right? Something is giving so. them that message of pain. Right. One way that is, uh, that is what I ask, tell all the patients, they said, it is in my head. Yeah, it is in your head. <laughs> of course it is in your head, but. So, you, so the patients refer to this problem as what? Like what's their lingo for it? RSD. RSD. Right. 
And so hard, sometimes they just don't know the diagnosis. They're so just so, hard so if you're heard, so if they go somewhere and, and they're told you have RSD, is that like, oh brother, there's not much we can do about it? Oh, no, they immediately need to find a pain doctor and send it to them. Sooner you start, this is one of the conditions about anything else. Sooner you start the treatment, better off you are. Is this one of those things you cannot find the pain generator? So now it must be this? Right, by a rule out phenomenon. But also there are typical symptoms though. It is the burning pain, you can't tolerate. Cold. Burning in extremities? Yeah. Okay. This is a horrible, horrible burning pain. You can't tolerate the any more type of movements, cold weather. Okay. And people, the very stoic, stoic people can't tolerate this. You can have pretty great success if you start the early treatment and if you don't, then you go through the other modalities of treatments.